Hi, in this video vlog I'm going to explain how to build and design a voltage controlled uh, pulse width modulator. And the idea came from uh, this datasheet. And it's the datasheet for the 555 integrated circuit. And here it says pulse width modulator. And here it is the schematic for building such a device and in case you are asking what is a uh, voltage controlled pulse width modulator it's a oscillator that gives you a fixed period fixed frequency square wave but uh, the duty the duty cycle of that signal is uh, voltage controlled so you can uh, through a voltage control the the duty cycle of that oscillator very easily and as I said it gives you a fixed frequency but the data cycle is variable through the uh, control voltage uh, port so as you can see in this schema schematic it has a trigger because somewhere here says that uh, when the timer is connected in the monostable mode and triggered with a continuous pulse train, the output pulse width can be modulated by a signal applied to pin 5. So, uh, we need to build another device that uh, made, makes uh, the, the pulse train for this to work and I will show you how to do that before. But the thing is, you can modulate the the output through the pin 5 of this integrated circuit and when I was looking at this data set I had uh, some ideas and some ideas to improve it and I thought that I can boil this uh, pulse width modulator using a 556 that is uh, an integrated circuit that has 250 uh, 555 integrated circuits inside. So uh, I did it. Um, where it is? <laughs> where is my circuit? Uh, yeah, here, here it is. Okay, so here is what I did with just a 556 integrated circuit. I did a pulse width modulator a voltage control pulse width, pulse width modulator with this variable resistor or potentiometer I can adjust the control voltage and I can see how this LED uh, changes the, the brightness due to the data cycle of that square wave and this thing over here is a current source because as I will explain to you, this uh, this circuit behaves non-linearly because the it is based on the charge and discharge of this capacitor, and uh, if you charge and discharge that that capacitor with uh, with a resistor, you you get a charge and discharge curve that are exponentially. But if you use a current source, you get a, a ramp, a linear ramp, and this is a very linear voltage controlled power modulator. And I will explain you how to do that. So I will start showing you uh, how this circuit works, this one here, and then I will show you the modifications that I did, and I will show you how to boil the whoops, I will show you how to build the uh, pulse train oscillator that this liquid needs to work and stick with me, <laughs> it's very easy. Thank you. Okay, so here we have the internal uh, circuit of a 555 integrated circuit, and we want this integrated circuit to work as a monostable. Uh, circuit so we add this component and 
we are going to suppose that this output is zero so therefore the negated output of this uh, flip-flop is one and because that this transistor is in saturation and this capacitor cannot charge itself through this resistor over here so the current is going from the power, power supply through this resistor and this way to ground and this, as I say, this capacitor is not charging itself so what happens here is that um, as you can see these two comparators uh, they have a reference with these three resistors and these three 5k resistors is what <laughs> those are uh, the resistors that gave the name to the 555 because you know uh, there are three 5k resistors and the integrated circuit is the 555 so <laughs> that is why the 555 has that name so here is going uh, the third part of the uh, power supply and it is comparing this with uh, the signal here and as you can see the because this uh, button is open you will have here let's say 5 volts so you will have here one point and a half or something like that so the minus input will be higher than the other one so it will display zero and here as well it will display uh, it will have zero here because the capacitor cannot charge and the transistor is in saturation so we'll, we will have a zero here and we will have let's say three volts something like that here so the minus uh, input of that compar comparator is uh, is higher than the other one so you will have here a zero too and when you press this button this button here and releasing it very quickly you will have this uh, kind of pulse you know it is high all the time and then it goes down a little bit and goes high again and that's it so when you press the button you will have here zero and one in the other input so the comparator is going to the output of this comparator is going to go to high and it will set the flip-flop the output will go to one and the negated output will go to uh, zero and because that this transistor is going to stop uh, conducting the, the current through it it will go to cutoff region and this capacitor will start to charge itself through this resistor and when this capacitor reaches this point that's the, the I don't know it's I think it is if we are using a 5 volt power supply it will be 3.33 volts when this capacitor uh, reaches 3.34 volts mm, this input will be above this input and then this comparator will go to 1 and then it will make this transistor con to conduct again and because that this, this capacitor will go to 0 and the output will go to 0 and because that you will have an output like that and trimming this resistor and this capacitor you can set the time that uh, you want for this pulse that is how the monostable operation works it is called monostable because it has just one stable state and that is it, the output to, to low because the output to high is not stable 
it goes to, to low after some time and you can trim that time to whatever you want just with this resistor and this capacitor. That is how the monostable operation of this uh, circuit works. Um, uh, let me make you notice something. Normally this control voltage input it is uh, connected to ground through this capacitor. So it is like an open circuit. So if you if you have a supply of 5 volts you will have a, here 3.33 volts but you can inject here your own voltage and you can change the point in which this uh, comparator uh, resets the output and because that you can change the pulse width with this input because you can change when the output goes to the low state again that's the principle because this circuit data sheet circuit works Oops, sorry. because using they are using the this input that is this one here they are using that to change the point at which this comparator uh, uh, makes the the output to go low and that is how it works you can modifying this voltage you can modify when this triggers and because that you can modify the pulse width of this circuit okay why this circuit is not linear so I, I'm telling you why <coughs> this is the uh, charge graphic for a normal resistor and capacitor circuit and as you remember this comparator is waiting this capacitor to charge above the point that you are giving to it so imagine you are giving to this uh, comparator two volts here so then your capacitor will have to charge to that voltage and that will take some amount of time and if you are giving this comparator through the pin 5 another voltage let's say 2.2 volts the amount of time will be different and non-linear because that curve it will be much more uh, better if instead of a curve you have a, a ramp a linear a linear ramp from zero to infinity or to your VCC voltage and the way this is uh, done is using a constant current like so uh, here you have the mathematical demonstration of why this is charging linear but it will charge this capacitor with a current source will start at zero volts and it will go up this way this is T and this is BC and as you can see this is the usual uh, straight line uh, curve and in this case it will be something like that here the slope is I the current divided C plus the initial voltage of that capacitor and as you can see if you are uh, forcing that uh, comparator to to trigger at 2 volts then you have this amount of time to wait and if you are giving it 2.2 volts it 